Good morning, YouTubers. And uh, this morning, we're talking about putting a radar detector in our C8 Corvette. Uh, not that we're speeding around a lot, but every once in a while, you know, this car, you think you're doing 45 and you're doing 65. And I want to be warned if I'm going too fast. And of course, I want to be warned if there's uh, radar in the area. So what we're going to do, a couple of things. We're going to use this to tap our mirror, the rear view mirror in the car. These two little guys will go to power and ground. And uh, they have a very, very big caution for you right here. Make sure you don't, 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 don't do this. So we're looking at um, this very close caution. Also, there's a couple of YouTube videos out that'll show you how to do it. This is really nice, a little pricey, but I, what the heck, I went, I went for it and uh, spent the money. And this is a, these are both, um, this is Meritap and this is blend mount. And uh, this blend mount mount, what it's gonna do, it's gonna mount on your rear view mirror and it will hold your radar detector. My radar detector, they just had a, they've been doing, running it in Valentine 1, they've been running a thing where you could get your trade in your old Valentine 1 and get a Valentine 1 Generation 2, which from what I see in all the videos is very, very good. And so we're going to mount the Gen 2 radar detector onto this mount so there's no su suction cups because here in Florida, if you leave your car out in the sun too long, the suction cups will fall and so will your radar detector. And I don't want to smash the radar detector or break it. So I want to make sure everything's okay uh, with the radar detector and everything works okay. So the first thing we're going to tackle today, we're going to put this in, then we're going to put the mount on, and then we're going to take and show you the new Gen 2 Valentine 1 radar detector. And then finally, we'll go over here to this little item here, and this is a free, believe it or not, free JBV1 drive aware. Uh, it'll automatically connect right to your, uh, from your phone to your Valentine 1 Gen 2 radar detector. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this. This should be really good. From what I've seen, I've seen a couple of guys use it and it really looks good and it's free. <laughs> My favorite full letter word. So let's go and put the mount in. Let's, uh, let's first of all, put the power in so we can use this little phone jack here to connect the power to the new Gen 2 Valentine 1 and uh, also get this mount in there before and then we'll put the Gen 2 on finally. But uh, So let's give it a shot. First thing I want to do is take a little pry tool like this. Let me turn the other side around here and put it. We want to take this cap off right here. All right, we got that loosened. And we should be able to take it off. Get that off. Where? And that's the area we want to get into, right, right there. Well, we ran into a little bit of a problem. We tried putting this Meritap power cord on, and uh, we got it in, but it was facing out, and you couldn't put the cap back on the cover that goes in the mirror, so that ain't, it isn't working. Uh, my wife spent a little over an hour, I spent a little over one hour, so we have over two hours invested, and this, I'm sending this back. So, I got fortunate and I just caught uh, some YouTube guy and he said, yeah, this doesn't work either. He'd had trouble with this. He couldn't, could, I don't think he could shut the cover either. Was, if something was screwed up. Anyway, notice, uh, notice that these, um, how these little uh, tips are. Okay, so we found uh, a Meritap that we uh, really like, and it's uh, this one right here, and you notice these are a lot smaller. You can't probably can't notice it from here, <clears throat> but these are a lot smaller, so we're gonna try this one this morning. So let's see if this one works, and hopefully it does. This is a different company. Um, I'll put a link to it down below if it works. <laughs> 
No links if they don't work. The acid check is to put the Valentine one in there and check it out. All right, we've adjusted our wires. So here we go. Proof is in the pudding. Start the car and it should light up our radar detector. Bingo. So here's the unit with the attachment on it. And this attachment is going to allow me to slide the right e radar detector on here like this. And this will slide right on like this. Let me do that again. It's going to slide in like this because that's the display. The big fat part is the display part. So this has to come out here. And you see this is this little guy that releases it. So uh, releases the radar detector. So this has to go on here like this. It'll slide back on. But you have to get this all set up. Don't be screwing around with this after you get this whole thing attached up here, up under the uh, rear view mirror. You don't want to do that. So make sure you take this piece and put it on here. This is a piece that comes with the radar detector, but you want to put it on your unit. And then this slides in like this. You'll be all set. Plug it in. Away you go. We are done with all of the uh, tightening the screws and everything else. We finally got it up in place. I just did some minor adjustments. Let's get in here, I'll show you. And you can see that we've got it mounted up okay. It looks good. I adjusted these screws here to get this setting just the way I wanted to. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, Get over this way a little bit. I don't think that was really easy to do. Um, I probably have to tighten those screws. But anyway, we're good. We're plugged in. I wrapped it around once around the radar detector up top here, and it's plugged in over the side. So now <laughs> I always have this thought of you get this all in and finally up, and the screws tightened up there and everything, and you turn the thing on, turn the car on, it doesn't work. So supposedly this, this should go on when I start the car. So let's see. And it works. I had to go through one um, connector. This other connector I got that I showed you earlier, that one went in in about 10 seconds. <laughs> Now the only thing I have to do is tighten a couple of screws up here. And uh, so this doesn't turn left or right like that. And I'll probably put it more angled towards me, kind of like that. And we'll tighten it up and I, I'm done. Thank you so much for stopping by. I've also got a piece of software that's gonna give this, this doesn't have GPS. Uh, but it will when I use, run the software program, and I'll show you. I'll show you that. Let's take a look at the display, the live display, which shows um, quite a few things. I'm not going to go into all these items, but there is a, and you can, by the way, you can squeeze this so it, it gets even further out, and uh, you can get an idea of the um, vastness get it really and these they, they have these little uh, lines that go can you see them there in the half mile and a mile and you can see uh, any uh, uh, bogies that are out there which is pretty kind of pretty, pretty cool and then if you want to zoom in you can zoom in like that this is uh, what does it say half mile and that's a quarter mile so I give you an idea of what you're looking at and that looks just like my uh, like my Google Maps right there. There it is right there. So it's pretty cool. Very, uh, very, very interesting uh, the way this works. And it's all, this phone is talking to this radar detector, so it's working really, really good. And I'm very impressed with it. I like the way it finally put, went together, although we had a little problem in the beginning. This is working great. So there you have it. Valentine 1, Generation 2 right there. 
And this is the software that uh, is free and available to anybody for a free download. And it's very robust. I mean, it has loads and loads and loads of options you can play with to your heart's content. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Um, but this is a nice setup uh, on the C8, and I, I'm really happy with the way this is finally worked out after a lot of effort. Be very careful when you tap the mirror for power. A red connector and a black connector. Make sure you put the red connector to the red wire and the black connector to the black wire. If you take the black connector and put it on the gray wire, you could goof your whole mirror up, so be very, very careful. Um, you could have to replace your mirror, so be careful with that one. Since I had to replace the type of wire I was using to tap the mirror, uh, the new wire that I, that I got, actually you got three of them, and they have three different types of tips on each one, so uh, you could pick the one that works you think it's going to work best for you so that's that's a nice buy and i think it's less money too if i remember correctly um, i'm also going to put a link to the free software that you can use on your phone and that software there's software out there too for the iphone so don't feel if you don't have a uh, an android if you have an iphone you can still uh, do a lot with with the valentine one the software is out there and it's free uh, you can also do pretty much the same mirror tap for all the other different kinds of um, radar detectors that have like a telephone jack that comes in, goes into the side of the, uh, of the radar detector. So it's not just limited to the Valentine 1, it could be any, almost any other detector too. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave a note down there in the comments section. I read all the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment, especially the comments. I love the comments and anything I missed or anything you think that should be included, put a note down below. Thanks for watching.